What's up everyone, welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing Hotel Transylvania 3. Yeah, I was kind of excited for this film because this whole series has been pretty on par. They've been pretty much all enjoyable. But the big sensation that this series has given me is that it brings me back to my old childhood roots. It feels like I'm going to the theaters to watch a big cartoon, a big classic cartoon that I watched as a kid. And I think a lot of that goes because of Travasky. He has written and directed some of my favorite cartoons growing up, Dexter's Laboratory and Samurai Jack most notably. But he's done this series that has really brought me back to those roots and I for kids and adults to really come together and kind of appreciate this series altogether. These kids do love this film and every time I see it in an audience the kids are laughing and even the adults are laughing. There are quite a few adult jokes in here that fly right over kids heads but make the adults laugh out loud and I love that type of stuff because there's humor in here for everyone. And as much as Hotel Transylvania 3 is very predictable the thing I gotta say is that at the same time it's also very creative and the animation is so smooth and seamless in here that it just always catches me on board. The thing I actually really appreciate about this new one is that it took us out of the hotel landscape. It put us on a boat, took him to different areas, and just the animation seemed so smooth in those scenes, and it's just so bright and vivid in color that I just couldn't take my eyes off the screen. I loved in looking at every single part of the screen because there's so many different colors, and I like that Travasky puts an imaginativeness into these films. Most notably, this film especially, this film is the most beautiful looking out of all the Hotel Transylvania films. I say there was a lot of nice mythology building in this film that opens up and builds up the world to be more stuff you know there's a lot of cool little things where they add new monsters in here there's a whole gremlins airline fl flight when they're flying out to the Bermuda Triangle to go to their cruise ship which is just so creative in its aspect but the gremlin scene is one of the best scenes in this film and even though it's early on, there are a, still a lot of jokes going throughout the whole entire movie. Even though the ending is kind of cliche and it kind of just goes back to the same route again is that this is a typical cartoon film, it feels different at the same time. It's very sweet. I had a smile on my face the whole entire time I watched Hotel in Transylvania 3. I didn't expect anything jaw-dropping or anything to change my viewpoint on film, but I think that the series does have a nice underlying meaning, especially from the first, the second, and the third film. There's a nice underlying meaning that I think kids can adapt to and even adults can maybe even grab onto, where, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. And I like those kind of meanings. I like when they throw those little subtle nods into these films and that you can be your own person. Weirdly enough, I got this from Hotel Transylvania 3, and I think all the films in this series do carry that underlining meaning. Overall, I really enjoyed Hotel Transylvania 3. I think if you got a family, this is the perfect family film to go see this weekend. If you don't have a family, and you're kind of just like, oh, should I watch it or not? If you're into Dexter's Laboratory and Dan Samurai Jack and kind of those old classic Cartoon Network cartoons, I can't actually recommend this film that you go and check it out. Yes, it's predictable. But I laughed. It was creative at some moments, and the animation is beautiful in here. I really enjoyed this, and to think that this is like Adam Sandler's best films in a couple years, crazy to think that. All said, I'm going to give Hotel Transylvania 3 a B. Oh, again, I really enjoyed Hotel Transylvania 3, and I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts down below, so let's talk about it down below in the comments. Of course, guys, if you guys are new here, make sure to consider subscribing and hitting that like button as well. I love talking with you guys about movies, and that's what we're going to do on this channel. So if you guys want to talk more movie-related content, go hit up all my social media links. Then go check out Sandwich on Films down below, because right there you guys can get into advanced movie screens, check out some movie news, and also some movie reviews. So guys, until next time, stay classy and have a great rest of your day.